Hey guys, Rupert Raven here, and today we've got the first Start Collecting Slaves to Darkness box. Now, I managed to pick this up for a good price. Somebody had bought it and decided that they didn't have time to build it anymore, so I got everything brand new on Spruce. I believe this box came out about December 2017. That's at least the information I found on Amazon. But as you can see here, we get 1 Chaos Chariot, 5 Chaos Knights, 12 Chaos Warriors, and 1 Chaos Sorcerer Lord. So this is them all in new in box on their spruces. Now, it surprised me, some of these models are actually as old as uh, 2008. That was a bit of a surprise, but can't say I remember them from back then. I didn't think they were that old, but you know, regardless, they're still great models. I don't think they've really needed an update. Um, and in a couple of years' time, we did get an update, and I'm looking forward to reviewing that box as well and comparing it to this one. As you can see here, we actually get an ultimate to the Chaos Chariot. And here we've got some of the riders. Now these look a bit newer, I don't think they're as old. And we've got our Chaos Sorcerer here. And he looks very nice. And we've got some other parts for the Chaos Chariot. And the rest of the knights. Now let's see what we've got here, just the stands, of course, and so we've got some advertisement for the next lot of stuff that's coming out, so that's pretty cool, and we've got the how to build stuff, of course we always need that. It always surprised me though, they give you these black and white books and then Occasionally one of them's like this like this chaos uh, sorcerer. He's a printed one with color It's always a bit of a surprise when they do that But anyway, I'm gonna put them together and let's take a look So here we've got them all together. They actually look a lot better than I thought they were going to look. I saw on the box that they all kind of held their weapons like a little Lego man, and that worried me a bit, but I chose to go with the shields instead of the uh, two weapons. And I think they look really good, especially since these guys, they came from 2008, so that's really cool. The Sorcerer here, if I can get him in shot, he comes with a regular base as well, but I didn't want to waste the uh, the base, the square base that they give you with all that detail. Um, I've just got him blue tacked on here for now. I will glue him, but I thought it'd be easier to keep him off base for now so that I can paint it. And here we've got the Chaos Chariot. And most of this is just blue tack together as well. And there is the ultimate where you can have this sort of beast thing pulling the chariot, but I didn't want to use that. And yeah, this is all the soldiers. And the knights, they look awesome. I'll give you a few more shots here of the group all together, and then we're going to look at them individually, so sit back and enjoy.
All right, that was our look at the Start Collecting Slaves to Darkness from 2017. I hope you enjoyed that, and if you've got any comments, please leave them below. That would be much appreciated. I've really enjoyed looking through these models. It's kind of a set that I would have loved to have had a few years ago, but I've got it now and I still really enjoy having it. Um, I'm going to get the new Slaves of Darkness and do a comparison video and an unboxing video of those ones obviously. So if you want to see that please uh, subscribe down below and make sure you check out my friend's music. He does all the music for my videos and he's very talented so please do be sure to check him out and I'll see you guys next time.